All right, so today we are heading out to uh, Durango and Vallecito, and uh, we're actually going through the mountain pass in between uh, Ore and Silverton right now, and it's been raining pretty much the whole time, but now we're getting like really in the higher elevations, and it actually started to uh, hail slash snow a little bit, which <laughs> is kind of crazy, but uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous up here. Uh, we're probably gonna waste a lot of our video storage and battery just getting to where we're going because it's so gorgeous we want to capture it all but uh, anyway we're heading over there Yeah, probably not going to go hiking today. So today I actually learned an extremely valuable lesson for myself and this is the lesson that I was told since I was 12 years old by my parents and that's whenever you drive somewhere you want to make sure to bring a sweater or a blanket or something in the car in order to keep you warm. Right? Well, I failed him as a wife. <laughs> that's what he's saying. No, she did not fail me. But the thing is is that yes I planned on bringing a sweatshirt and I forgot it but at the same time I realize now how extremely important it is always to have some sort of sweatshirt or something in the car I mean I wasn't too worried about it when I first thought I or remember or realized that I forgot my sweater but now that we're here it's like it's cold you know like it's cold and it's summer like the middle of summer higher but, elevation. but yeah we're in colorado we're higher elevation and some days it's i told be you she told me she didn't fail as a wife she told me i should have grabbed it for you you said you got it i know i had the dog i know <laughs> but anyway so if you're traveling in colorado or anywhere with higher elevations and it's your first time doing so don't make my mistake and just throw a sweatshirt in your car so that it's always there that way you'll never you know not have one when you need one Although a lot of the places at those mountain places when you go higher, they actually sell blankets and sweaters so that because they kind of expect people to need them. Yeah. Well, you know, if you don't want to spend any money, you know, use this tip.
All right, so we're cruising on our way to Durango and Vallecito, and uh, on the way there, we passed uh, Silverton, which we're actually in right now. Uh, the road didn't necessarily take us through here, but we wanted to check it out, because once our RV's fixed, uh, we're definitely thinking about cruising back up here and spending a little extra time in the area and checking it out. But uh, anyway, so far, Silverton looks pretty awesome. mountain town that we've seen like well it's a really old mining town yeah like it doesn't look like run down and dirty but it looks really old and historic <laughs> it's really yeah. cool i i i really like the silverton i really do So we had to pull over real quick because McNally seemed to be getting a little antsy and uh, he definitely had to go potty, which is awesome because, uh, you know, potty training is not very fun sometimes. So when you're in the car and he lets you know, that's much better than him going in there. McNally, go potty. Yes, yes. You have two little chunks of food. Hey, you forgot one. You forgot one. It's kind of chilly up here, which is crazy. Um, back in Silverton, it was actually 40 degrees. And before that, I think it might even dropped a little lower than that. It was insane. But uh, now that the sun's coming out, it's warming up a little bit. I think we're at about 55, which is a little better. Right, now we're driving through downtown Durango. All right, so now we're heading over to Vallecito. We're about 15 minutes away. Uh, the ultimate game plan today was to get over there and go out on a hike. Uh, but we did look at the weather and there was about 50% chance of rain and we're getting over close to there and it is still raining um, And we're about you know three and a half hours from uh, where we're staying So we're gonna check it out see what happens and uh, today may just be a day where we got to Explore via the car and check out a lot of things. But uh, anyway, we're almost to Vallecito and we'll see what it looks like accidentally closed my GPS and then when I tried to open it back up we have no service so I can't get it to refind us so I was looking at the map hoping that would direct us a little bit uh, not really so much to where we want to go so we're just gonna drive around the lake and hopefully get to the city and um, find a gas station and ask somebody hit this Rocky Mountain General Store and meet and we're gonna go in there and get a little snack and take a potty break got a healthy uh, snack of chips 
All right, so the bad news is that they actually didn't have a public restroom there. Uh, the good news is that we're only about 16 minutes from uh, the trail that we were gonna hike, and the rain did stop. Now it is still pretty chilly out, and like I mentioned, I forgot my sweater. So uh, we're gonna go up there, maybe hit a restroom on the way, at least see where the trail is. Uh, if it is too cold to hike, if not, we'll get out and uh, see what we can't find. It'll warm up if we keep going, as you start walking. Uh, or, you know, like Katie said, I'll just warm up when we <laughs> keep walking. We'll see what happens. All right, so we made it to the trailhead here. Uh, it did clear up, so we're gonna give it a go. It's about 52 degrees, so it's a little chilly, but I feel like once we get moving on the trail, I should warm up. I feel pretty good with my, actually, I'm kind of hot, to be honest. So. <laughs> Hoodie and pants will do that. Um, anyway, so we're gonna get out there, see what it has to offer. Uh, Nelly's excited to get out of the car and get some exercise, I think. He's so. just ratting all around, just yeah. running everywhere. It's crazy. I'm just glad it stopped raining because we were in the car for almost four hours, so. It'll be good to just get out, even if it's for a little bit, before we go back to the De uh, cabin. Definitely getting that exercise to the plus. <clears throat> uh, also, something that's really cool is I was reading the signs over there, and uh, we're going to be on the lookout for bobcats, uh, lynx, and bighorn sheep. Hopefully we don't see any bobcats. <laughs> Hopefully we don't see any bobcats or lynxes. Um, but there was another sign, too, uh, from the Colorado Forest Service and the National Forest Service about uh, if you see bighorn sheep, any documentation you get, they'd love to uh, see it because they're trying to kind of document what they're doing here in this area. But uh, anyway, we're going to go check it out. Busted. <laughs> All right, so we went about a mile down the trail. It is a 12 mile hike. 
Um, we didn't plan to do the whole hike anyway, but we came here really just because this is one of the places we were considering coming and um, parking with our RV or camping with our RV once it's fixed. So I'm glad we made the drive, but it is like a three to four hour drive and we still have to drive back. So, and I really don't know if I want to be on that thing near Ore without the rail at yeah. night. That thing was freaking scary. It's pretty crazy without <laughs> the rails. You guys saw it a little bit earlier in the video. I was freaking out a little bit and uh, yeah. But anyways, we're gonna go a little bit further and <laughs> see how long McNally, he's just like digging in the dirt. Um, how much longer we can go and then we're gonna turn around and uh, you know, get back in the car. Exactly, but it was pretty cool to drive through all the towns and actually get out here considering how much it was raining earlier yeah. and then it just cleared up and turned into actually a beautiful day. <laughs> yeah, this is the San Juan National Forest, I believe, and yeah. it is just so pretty out here. I mean, yeah. It so, really is. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, let's get trekking still. We'll get keep back on, on going. The trail. <laughs> Muddy? Are you a muddy puppy? Yes, you are. He should be clean. Oh, Dad cleaned you. A good thing I waited. All right, so we had an eventful uh, hike up here. It was pretty exciting. McNally, I swear, with every hike we're doing, he's getting stronger and stronger and just pushing through. He like, I'm not tired. Don't pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> now he's tired. Now he's passed out on the floorboard. Yeah. But uh, so we were there for probably about two hours, so not nearly as long as we wanted to, but. Um, you know we got to get back to the cats got to get you know back on the road but it was definitely definitely a good time i thought well worth it yeah it's it's beautiful i can't even imagine what we missed because we had to turn mm -hmm. back early yeah um, but what we saw was was pretty awesome and it's funny because it's like it was raining when we left this morning and it seemed like it was going to rain all day even here and it's like as soon as we got here i mean it's actually warmed up what like 10 degrees i mean the whole hike i mean it was it was definitely warm enough i took off my hoodie or my sweater it was so. literally five minutes before we pulled in this parking lot that the rain stopped the and sunlight came out it was beautiful and like i mentioned yeah. before we left it was 52 degrees we just got back to the car at 64. You yeah know, it's, so, it's, <laughs> it was kind of perfect it worked out we got in our hike and mm -hmm. uh so nice little day got some good views and ready to go home and get our grub on <laughs> yeah, absolutely <laughs> Or I am starving. <laughs> so I'm not hangry like last time, but I am starving. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry I embarrassed you, Katie. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching our video today. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys again soon. Um.